What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is about something new. I like I like new technology. I like when people try to innovate and create new things, especially when it's things that makes the products that I own work better or do new things. I like my Nintendo Switch. I was actually playing it today. Uh, I don't play it very often, but I, I got about an hour and a half in, just running around in, in some Zelda, having a ball. The game's amazing. I feel like I did when I played Resident Evil 7. You know, it's an, a game that needs to be completed, but I just, I gotta find time to do it. I probably should have beat that before I beat Resident Evil, to be totally honest. Uh, but the, the Nintendo Switch is an incredible console. The way that you can play, the way it's innovative, the way that you can play it at home on a TV, on the go, on a dock, out of a dock, take the controllers off, you know, it has motion control, everything that's on the thing is incredible. But someone who's developing hardware has tried to create something even more innovative for the Nintendo Switch, and I think it'll be pretty awesome if this thing gets crowdfunded the way that it needs to. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch Dock lets you project Zelda onto your wall, and not just Zelda, any Nintendo Switch game. <laughs> Here comes the first Nintendo Switch Dock that doesn't require a TV. The Ojo from Yesojo, <laughs> yes I said that right, is a specialized Switch Dock with a built-in lens that lets you project your games onto any surface. It's also fitted with a rechargeable battery a welcome perk for Nintendo's hybrid gaming machine. The company's website is currently experiencing technical difficulties, but Kotaku UK report delivers some of the key hardware specs. 4-hour battery life, maximum projection size of 120 inches, built-in speaker, which I hope sounds good, and a separate HDMI input for connecting to video producing devices like the Elgato and Avermedia. Kotaku also notes that this is a pre-manufacturing product for now. Yes, Ojo will seek crowdfunding support for the dock later this year. While the company's website is sparse and at present only partially functional, it does have a very active social media presence. These guys are all over Twitter, guys. Check them out. Multiple photos and videos from Yesojo's Twitter feed show the development of Ojo in action, and it looks super cool. I'll show you guys a few images, but this thing works, and this takes the whole, you know, take it anywhere, play any way you want. Uh, to a whole new level. You, you take your Switch over to a friend's house, you sit inside the dock, and aim it at the wall in the living room while people watch TV. That It doesn't get much cooler than that. Uh, as long as they can price this thing reasonably, if they can price it for $149, I think that'd be a, a pretty good starting price. You know, if they could get it down to 100 bucks, that'd be a huge deal. Uh, nobody would buy the, the extra docks that Nintendo is actually manufacturing now because it'd be obsolete. You guys check out the Yosojo Twitter page. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would this be something that you'd be interested in? Buying for your Nintendo Switch to be able to take it anywhere? You don't need a TV. It's got its built-in speaker and you can just break out that Switch, unzip it and slam it into anything you want, anywhere you want. That's the way you play your Switch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Show support for my channel. The Humble Gamer needs all your help. Thank you all so much. If you'd like to take your support even further, consider becoming a patron. My Patreon link is in the description. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.